The KXAN in-depth report. Chances are you or someone close to you is suffering from depression right now. It's a condition affecting 20 million Americans every day, and 10% of all Texans are suffering from it. But there may be new hope thanks to Austin researchers at Seton Medical Center. KXAN Sally Hernandez takes an in-depth look and a feel. Smiling comes easy to Brittany Wittenberg now, but not three years ago when doctors diagnosed her with major depression. I remember being, being very irritable and angry and just really low moods. And for Brittany, feeling depressed led to looking depressed with severe wrinkles on her forehead from frowning so much. I don't even know that I'm doing it. It just happens. And so maybe that's making me you know, unapproachable. Then she was approached. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good to see you again. To be part of a research so, uh, study that could change months. her life. So I'm a psychiatrist and he's a dermatologist. We do tend to talk about a lot of medicine at night. Husband and wife team doctors Jason Reichenberg and Michelle Maggot put together a study to treat depression with Botox. Botulinum toxin uh, causes the nerve to not be able to um, make the muscle move as much. Mm -hmm. The traditional way is to use it in this area so that you can't make those frowny faces like that. And if Botox can lead you to frown less, can it also lead to less symptoms of depression? We, we had to be careful. We didn't want to recruit people who just wanted to get free Botox. Uh, the patients had to be clinically depressed. Ready? Get angry at me for a second and relax. For 24 weeks, the doctors gave 30 clinically depressed patients Botox injections in their foreheads, including Brittany. There was a 42% reduction in depression surprising even the doctors. Absolutely. Some patients said to me, I feel great. I've never felt this good in many years. And the only thing that was different was the Botox. But how can Botox change the way you feel? That, that is the, the big question. And we don't agree necessarily <laughs> either. Dr. Reichenberg's is more of a biological theory. He says with Botox, you are depressing the nerve activity to certain muscles, in this case, the forehead. The belief is the brain doesn't feel you frown, reducing the signs of depression and anxiety. Dr. Maggots is more of a social one. The more you smile, the happier you'll feel. The more you frown, the sadder you'll feel. So it's not the other way around. It's not that you frown because you're sad. It might be that you're sad because you frown. People did notice a difference. Brittany looked and felt a difference. Feeling okay? Yeah. Even after the Botox wore off months later. Something is changing the brain to keep the antidepressant effects going. And Brittany is going strong. Let's take a look. I think we're good to go. With the new treatment. I mean, there's overwhelming evidence from this study that it's effective. And new hope. A toast to talking about mental health. Yay. Sally Hernandez, KXAN News. Well, when it comes to what's next, the couple just published their study in the Journal of Clinical Psychiatry, and a larger study could catch the attention of the FDA. If the FDA approves it, insurance companies could cover the cost of the nearly $300 Botox treatment for depression. We wanted to know about potential side effects of Botox. The Mayo Clinic says the treatment is relatively safe when performed by an experienced doctor. The most common side effects are swelling or bruising at the injection site, sometimes headache or flu-like symptoms and if the injections are in the wrong place the Botox could spread to other areas causing eyelid droop cockeyed eyebrows a crooked smile or dry eye or excessive tearing and while it's very unlikely there is a possibility that the Botox could further spread to other parts of the body causing some muscle weakness vision problems trouble speaking or swallowing trouble breathing even loss of bladder control doctors also say you should not use Botox when you're pregnant because it is not known how it could affect the baby. In case you want to know more about the study, we do have an in-depth look at the results with this story on the homepage of KXAN.com and a link to the Austin Doctors website if you think this is a treatment for you. We'll also dig deeper into that study tonight on KXAN News at 10.